Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm Candace Cameron Bure, host of Hallmark Channel's tradition, the five-night Thanksgiving movie event. Stay right where you are because you are going to love tonight's new movie. Sparks fly when a popular movie star goes to shoot a movie in a quiet mountain town. But the town's handsome mayor is less than impressed. What's more important, Hollywood coming in here and taking over the whole town or our traditions? Taylor Cole stars in Christmas in Homestead. And I'll be back a little later in the movie. And now, Hallmark Channel presents the original movie, Christmas in Homestead. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh or oh, that fields we go laughing all the way bells on bobtails ring thank you spirits bright hey guys good to see you as always jessica we just saw vince hawkins arrive what's it like doing another film with your ex-boyfriend ex-boyfriend the word ex it's gonna be a great film Bye guys. Hey, Jessica, one, one more, one more. Come on, hold on the window, one more, please. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Let's see, let's see. Come on. Jessica, what can you tell us about Vince? Is he inside there? Are the proposal rumors true? Come on. How about an exclusive? One, one more, one more. Come on, over the shoulder, please. Yes. Oh, you look good. You're stunning. Stunning. Hey Jess, what do you think? Rosalie, what is that? It's a Christmas tree. Yes, it's beautiful. Why is it in my house? Yes, it's almost Christmas and everyone needs a tree. We're spending the next 10 days in Iowa shooting a Christmas movie. I want to see plenty of these trees. Okay, well, your co-star awaits you for the meeting and Barbara just texted she's two minutes away. A director that runs late. Great. All right, let's get this thing going so I can get on the road and pack. I'll wait for Barbara. You and Mom are going where? A river cruise in Europe that... What about Christmas? Shh, what are we going to tell Sophie and Zoe, Dad? Tell me and Sophie what? Mom and Dad are skipping Christmas to go on a river cruise. Cool. Give it to me. All right, here's Zoe. Dad. Yeah, we're very happy. Yes, even Matt is happy too, aren't you, big brother? I'm not. I'm not. Ow! Oh, stop! Yes, I'm very happy, Dad. See? No, Dad, stop worrying about the lodge. It's why you left the business to us. So you and Mom can go gallivanting around the globe. So Prepare for battle. Sophie. Hi. What are you watching? The Astrolite Chronicles Part 3. The Fires of Smeed. Alright. Alright. That's the one about the dragon. Dad, it's not really about dragons. It's about this girl, Helena Astrolite, who saves the world. Who's that? That's Jessica McEllis. She's like the most famous, prettiest actress in the world. And she's going to be staying here, in our lodge. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's cool. Could you turn this off for me? i got to talk to you. Dad. Daughter. Thank you. So Grandma and Grandpa aren't coming for Christmas this year. But they're going to miss... I know, Christmas morning, presents and our PJs, everything. No, they're going to miss Jessica. Nice tree upstairs. Whose is it? What do you mean, whose is it? It's mine. Yeah, right. Since when do you get a tree? Since I felt like it. Oh, okay. Who needs a tree when they're going to Fiji again for Christmas with... With my best girlfriend. Vince, you and I broke up. Jill's going in your place this year. Ouch. Good for Jill, though. So does that mean we have to keep things strictly professional on location? 
This is my first time producing a movie, my first big thing after the Astrolite series, and I can't have anything messing that up. Classic Jessica. What does that mean? It means you have every detail planned always. No, I don't. You do so. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Play Everything by Ear. You know, if this were a movie, this is when we would kiss. Do you see a camera? I do. Bam! Just a little peck on the cheek, as a truce. It'd be great PR for the movie. Vince! That is going to be great on Instagram. That's not funny. I'm not kidding. Delete that right now. Oh, come on. Now. Okay. Okay, I'm deleting it right now. Delete it. I'm not deleting that. <laughs> What's that? Be happy for mom and dad. I'm happy for them. Ow! Would you stop pinching me? I am. I'm very happy for them, I am. You're just not good with change. That's not true at all. Is this about the movie? No. Melanie? I know this is her favorite time of year. I'm fine with change, as long as something needs changing. Oh, come on, we gotta get going. The mayor can't be late for his own town hall meeting. So we found this cute little lodge. That's where we're shooting. Yep. And, and that's a nutcracker. Uh, that's a candy cane. Barbara's here. And there's Santa. Barbara, I don't care that she's making fun of your turtle. Your turtle doesn't care either. No, he does. I love you. Bye. Sorry. No worries. How are your kids going to handle you going on location? Oh, well, that's going to be my husband's problem. It'll be Lord of the Flies for sure. But my problem is going to be 10 days of outdoor shoots in December in Iowa. Right. Uh, Wait, the travel memo says you're arriving tomorrow. Yeah, my character grew up in the area. I just want to get a feel for the place. I don't need to get a feel for the place. I'm playing an innkeeper. It's not rocket science. I know because I played a rocket scientist who saved the world. I didn't. So who else is in this movie? Vince Hawkins, the action star. Dad, you should know this. I, should, I, I can't keep up with all this stuff. I'm busy raising a daughter, running a lodge, being mayor. They're staying at our lodge. You should know everything about them. I don't know everything about any of our other guests. Dad, if you embarrass me in front of the movie stars... Don't worry, Soph. I'll make sure he doesn't do anything dumb. So are, there, uh, are there any dragons in this movie that they're shooting here? I just can't. We need to be done by the 23rd. I think my family's going to notice if I'm not home on Christmas Eve. Hey, what about Christmas with your folks? Rosalie, I'm taking Jill to Fiji. She just broke up with her boyfriend. All right, I'm just asking. I'm sure your folks would love to see you. And I'd love to see them too, but I bring too much drama with me. I already told them I can't come. Hey, um, are we good with the town? Someone said the mayor wasn't happy. Yeah, they have these Christmas events and he doesn't want us in the way. But that's why we wanted to film in this town. Yeah, I would think they would be excited the publicity right we don't want that publicity we don't mayor. want that publicity mr. mayor i've known you since i was born please call me mayor mr mayor this issue has already been decided by the town council i just have to the lighting of the tree the snowman competition the sleigh rides these are our traditions it's our job to protect these and Okay, what's more important? Hollywood coming in here and taking over the whole town, movie stars, and... Or... Our family. I want the movie stars. Meeting adjourned. Let's go light the tree. Yeah! <laughs> What if I mess it up? What if I'm always just the pretty girl who did the Astrolite movies? Hey, you are more than just the pretty girl. You are Jessica McAllis, Slayer of Dragons. Slay this one.
Home the State Choir, everyone. Thanks so much. Beautiful as always. You ready? Let's kick off the Homestead holidays with the lighting of the tree. Doing the honors with you, none other than my daughter, Sophie Larson. Do you think she'll be nice? Who? Oh. Jessica McGillis? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think she will be. Do you think she'll like me? Well, sir, if that's a no-brainer, who's not gonna like you? Haley Shepard doesn't like me. Wait, I thought she was your friend. That's the other Haley. Haley Shepard doesn't like me. Well, she should. You're smart, you're cool. Dad. I think Jessica's gonna love you. Here. I'm not supposed to eat sweets before bedtime. Well, luckily I know your father. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, I gotta run over to the bakery to grab those pies. You wanna come with me, Soph? Okay. She's a bundle of Christmas joy, isn't she? <gasps> Be back in a sec. I am asteroid. <gasps> Look at all the Christmas stuff. Wow, the crew's done a great job with the set decoration. Yes, the crew doesn't get here until tomorrow. Wait, so all of this is... Yeah. The town <laughs> did all of this? They really like Christmas. <laughs> oh, hey, Gavin, pull over. What are you doing? It's a bakery. I want to get something for the crew. Ooh, cupcakes. Ooh. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Pauline. Morning, Matt. Are you here for your pies? Yes, ma'am. Not, not Christmas without Pauline's famous pumpkin pie. You are so sweet. I've got them in the back, but I've got a little something extra for Sophie. Don't you do that. Stop that. <laughs> Spoiler. You help yourself to some coffee, okay? Thank you. <sighs> oh, hi. Can I get like a hundred cupcakes? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't. Um... Uh, chocolate, vanilla, red velvet. Do they have red velvet in Iowa? Oh, you must be with the movie. Yes. Yes, do you want an autograph? Um, no thanks. Oh, come on, don't be shy. There you go. Don't go selling that on eBay. Why would I sell this? So, the cupcakes. Can they be ready by Monday? That would be amazing. I'll pay extra. Look, you I'll have send to talk to them. back to them. That would be great. Thanks. Bye. Jessica, 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 Jessica. What's going on with you and Vince, huh? You've got to be kidding me. Where's the rest of the horde? It's just me so far. What about an exclusive? Sure, you can have an exclusive up close look at my bodyguard. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Gavin, stand down. Jessica, I'm just doing my job. You have a lousy job, Ian. Tell me about it. You're welcome. Have a great day. Hi. Welcome to the Homestead Lodge. Hi. Checking in. Two under Evans and one for Williams. Yep. We are all set. Let me just grab your paperwork in the back. What you watching? Astrolight Dragon Wars. Huh. Is it any good? It's not the best one. It's not. The Dark Forest is better, but my all-time favorite is... Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man! Oh, wow, oh, man! <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica. What's your name? Sophie Larson. I've seen all your movies. Well, not all of them. Dad wouldn't let me see The Heavy Heart because of the kissing. But I've seen the Astrolite movies a billion times. A billion? Wow, that's a lot. I can't believe it's really you. I can't believe it sometimes either. <laughs> so are you staying here? No, I live here on the other side of the lodge. 
Do your parents own the lodge? My dad and aunt do. Oh, nice. Hi there. Come on. Dad, look! It's just a comic Ellis. Oh, okay. The whole autograph thing makes a little more sense now. Wait, you you got her autograph? Where is it? I want to see it. So you don't work at the bakery? No, no, I was just there. Picking up some pies for the lodge. That you own. Got it. Sorry. No, it's okay. I didn't I didn't know who you were either, so we're even. I'm Matt. It's my sister Zoe. Hi, Zoe. This is my daughter, Sophie, right here. Hi, I'm Jessica's publicist, Rosalie, and this is Gavin. Nice to meet you. You too. Hey, Gavin. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Welcome to the Homestead Lunch. Thank you. It's really beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate that. We uh, we take a lot of pride in it. Um, Zoe has your keys, yeah? Zoe? Yay. Yay. And uh, if you guys need anything else, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Oh, actually, uh, could you help me maybe get in contact with the town's mayor? I hear he's a bit of a stick in the mud and doesn't want us Hollywood types ruining Christmas. <laughs> Dad is the mayor. You're the... Stick in the mud, yeah. Hi. Oh. Well, wow. I am so sorry. Uh, why don't we set up a time for you two to talk tomorrow? Maybe you can give us a tour of the town? 10 a.m.? Sure. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Thank you. And listen, we are not going to be in your way at all. We don't want to change a thing. You won't even know we're here. <laughs> Jessica's bodyguard, right? I think I should get a bodyguard. I mean, it's not like I have crazy fans, but it would make Katie Shepard jealous. She thinks she's special because she has a horse. But I'd be all, big deal, I have a bodyguard. Have a seat. I won't need you all the time, just like for school and when I go to my piano lessons. Do you think Jessica will mind if I borrowed you? Oh. So last Christmas, I got the Astrodite Chronicles books. Like, the whole set of real books, which is so cool. And I read them all, but I think the movies are better. Weird, so do I. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Sophie. Dad said I could go on the tour, as long as I don't bug you. You could never bug me. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone ready for the tour? Absolutely. I can't wait. All right, great. Let's get started, then. I can't imagine how this could get any more awkward. Hey! Oh. Hey, hey! Hi. Hey. So where's everybody off to? I'm freezing, Mickey. That's how it's going. Yeah, I, I got a few of Jessica and some of Vince, but nothing interesting. Oh, trust me, you will be the first to know. Thanks. Bye. Uh, so yeah, there's the Homestead Cafe right there. They have the best hamburgers. Who doesn't love a good burger? You don't. You hate hamburgers. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Remember that time we took the jet to Martha's Vineyard? We got out at that uh, little diner. So, Matt, did you grow up here? Yeah, born and raised. In the lodge? Uh, that belonged to my parents, and then they retired, went to Florida, and so my sister Zoe and I took it over. Keep it in the family. How sweet. Yeah, absolutely. No, Jess and I stayed at this amazing inn one time in Budapest. Honey, you remember that? So, There's an actual castle. you're the mayor as well. That's so impressive. Wow, you must really love it here. I do. 
Well, I can see why she's got that small town. Yeah. It's uh, really quiet here. Housekeeping. Miss McEllis? anyone. There's a big tree and carriage rides and the snowman competition is tonight. Yeah, and then it all culminates in the uh, festival of the got the festival of lights. Okay. Hey, you gotta be careful around here, alright? Yeah. Um, it's Christmas Eve and there's, you know, there's Christmas lights everywhere. It's... Yep. They don't do Christmas lights in Fiji. Remember that one year we were down on the beach? Christmas, we were in our bathing suits. Hey, Vince, it was... can I talk to you for a second? Excuse us. Yeah, sure. What's going on? What do you mean? What is with this walk down memory lane all of a sudden? Oh, I don't know. It's just the holidays and I don't know. Getting nostalgic, I guess. It's okay, cut it out. I'm trying to get this guy to like. You want this guy to like you? Come on, not like that. I just I'm trying to convince him that we're not stuck up movie stars and your stories about us traipsing around the globe aren't helping. We need to find some common ground. Okay. Why didn't you tell me? I got you. I got you. Hey, Matt. Hey, man, I'm playing an innkeeper in this movie. Just like you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. How's that for common ground? Hmm. Here you go. Thanks. How can you do that? How do you go around invading famous people's lives like that? That's their privacy. We all have our jobs to do. What's yours? Are you uh, a maid here, or...? My brother and I own this place, and it's called housekeeping. Uh, aren't you a little young to be a business owner? I plan on having a chain of these lodges around the country by the time I'm 30. Aren't you a little old to be climbing trees? Touché. Well, um, I better get going. No rest for the wicked and all that. Just a warning, I will call the sheriff. If I see you around here again. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. Well, thanks again. And thanks for the ice pack. I know this looks like a lot, but once we get it all set up, it'll be a lot less intrusive. Okay. Good, good. I mean, this is the town square. This is where we do the, the tree and the Santa. Where's Santa? Where's the tree? We had to start them. They weren't working for us. They struck Santa? Oh, sweetie, no. It just means that they had to put him away for a minute. Everyone, this is Barbara McKeever's, our director. Hi, Barbara. Hey, I'm Matt Larson, the mayor. What's going on here? Don't worry. Why did they We're have going to... to put them back before we leave. Right, right. Okay, you know, if is you'll that... excuse me, if you'll excuse me. Wait, Where are... No, give him back his turn. Yes, you go. Vince, any truth of the rumors are getting back together. Any truth. Come on. Anything you can give me. Any. Just, just a little bit. Tell me. Tell me. Vince, I see that smile. Come on. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, look out. Santa's coming through. Santa's gonna be okay, huh? Mm -hmm. You think Jessica and Vince Hawkins are gonna get back together again? No. Why? Oh, nothing. It was just something I heard um, one of the photographers say. You know, they just... She can't come in here and just take over the town. I don't care how famous she is. Being famous can't be easy. Right. No, you're right. The mansions, the private jets, it's got to get tiring. It's got to get really tiring. What about the constant spotlight? People climb trees to get pictures of her. They climb trees? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just saying so that underneath all that movie about star the stuff is a person. You're right. 
You're right. Not gonna let it bother me. Tonight's the snowman competition, and we are going to win this year. Because it doesn't look like a snow blob every year. A what? A snow blob? It's like the body thing. If the body moved like that, I think we'd win, actually. <laughs> do you think the kissing works? What do you mean? I mean, it's like it only happens because she's nostalgic for the kind of Christmas she had as a kid. Well, when we get to it, try something new. Improvise. <laughs> yeah, I don't improvise. <laughs> Trevor, hold on. Can I come in? Of course. We have a problem. Got a camera down. How long to get it fixed? About an hour, but we're supposed to be done at seven. So we shoot with one, and it'll just take longer. Okay, but then that's going to delay the snowman building competition. Oh. Well then, no. We can't. We can't do it. Not not after the Santa and the Christmas tree. Jessica, if we cut now, I don't know where we're going to make up the time. We are already pushing to get to the twenty third. Yeah, you're going to go over budget. Don't worry about the budget. I'll take care of the budget. We'll figure something out, okay? I promise them no more surprises. Okay. You're the producer. Great. Trevor? No, honey. I didn't want to talk to the No, I... I think our snowman should have blue eyes. So he'll be special. Well, he's always special. Dad, it always looks like a blob. Don't look at me. I don't know where she gets it. <laughs> you don't? No idea? No. None. One guess. I'm looking at you. How about that? It's a hint. Hey, Gavin, we're going back to the lodge. Uh, can you pull the car around? Great. Okay, everyone, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Here we, go, here we, go. we will be starting promptly at 7 o'clock. This is your 15 minute warning. Okay? Hello? What's wrong? Nothing. Everything's great. Michael and I got back together, so I just want to let you know that... So you're not going to Fiji with me? No. I'm going to Florida with Michael to his parents' house. Please be happy for me. <laughs> Babe, yeah, of course I'm happy for you. I promise I'll make it up to you. <sighs> um, hey, Jill, they're calling me back to set. I, I gotta, I gotta go. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, too. Hey, Game face is on me, Dad. Please, it's Matt. Don't go. <laughs> you got it. Listen, I just wanted to let you know that we're going to be done any minute now. Jessica insisted on it. She did? Yes. She's going to make sure that there aren't any more problems. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Hey, 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 will you hold this for a second? I'll be right back. Wait, where are you going? The contest is going to start. I'm just going to go check on something. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> what? Hi, I... Hey! Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want to... I don't want to no, bother No, no, no! Please, come in. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. This is uh, nice, though. Um, I just wanted to thank you. Your publicist told me that um, you had gone out of your way to take care of us with the snowman thing. Please, it's nothing. I mean, I know all of our Christmas traditions. They probably seem a little silly to you. I mean, to anyone who's not from here. I don't think they're silly. In fact, I wish I had some. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm sorry, I usually cry in front of strangers. <laughs> I've done much worse in front of strangers. Like what? Karaoke. <laughs> Karaoke? Really? Yeah. I was... It was pretty soon after my wife passed away. 
and I was in Chicago. Um, it was a travel industry thing anyway. There was a small karaoke bar there, and I started to feel very strongly about singing a Celine Dion song. <laughs> Come on, really? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all true. <laughs> uh, fortunately, no videos have surfaced on the internet yet. Um, so I think I got away clean. But now you know about it. You're the only one who knows about it. Well, your secret's safe with me. Thank you. Yours too, with me. Your, your, your crying secret. Right. <laughs> anyway, thank you again for, for helping us out. You have some very, very grateful snowmen out there. Good luck with the competition. I think we're gonna need it. That's what I'm told anyway. Hey, um, I, uh, I just want to say thank you for talking to me. It made me feel a lot better. Oh. I mean, it's just me and, and Soph and my sister were building a snowman. Um, sure, yeah, uh, give me a minute to change. Yeah. More snow, guys. Yeah. Guys, we need more snow for the base. Wait, hey, I thought this was the head. No way. It's the That's base. the head. Oh. Right. How could this be the head? We're in so much trouble. No, no, we're good. no we got come this. on. We got we're this. good. Let's just uh, work on the body. No, that's the head. Oh. Yeah. Okay, time check. Time check. We got 20 minutes. What? We're in so much trouble. No, we're not. We're not. Oh, we're not. this would be so much easier if it was an actor. Then we could just cover up all his flaws with hair and makeup and wardrobe. Let's go. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so much stuff in here. Look at everyone. Cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh my god. This is Blair. I love it. Oh my god. Yeah. Guys, we gotta go. Yes. I love that. That's a winner. Yeah. That is, that's it. Okay. How much time do we have? We what have about to go. This? We have no time. No. Perfect, perfect. Nice. Good craftsmanship. Well done, team. Impressive. We have a winner! <laughs> All right, so it's time for bed. Okay. <laughs> Good night, Jessica. Thanks for making the snowman better. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay, come put on. That so put that trophy somewhere safe. Okay, I will. I'll be right up, guys. Okay. I think she's going to sleep with that thing tonight. Tonight? When I won my Golden Globe, I slept with it for a week. You won a Golden Globe? Wow. You really don't know who I am, do you? <laughs> no, I do. No, 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 I do. I do. You you were, you were in that movie with mm. the dragons. Right. And the other movie with the dragons. dragons. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Who could forget that one? You're right. I don't know who you are. I'm Jessica McGillis. Matt Larson. Nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. Jinx. That's what Sophie always says. I don't know. Not really sure what it means. <laughs> hey, you two. What are you doing? Hey. Hey. We're just, um, we're celebrating our win from the snowman competition tonight. That's great. That's really great. Matt, you should teach me how to build a snowman. Sure. 
Hey, I'm, uh, who? I'm gonna hit the hay. We have a really early call tomorrow. You should, too. Good night, guys. Night. I should be going. But thanks. Thanks again for inviting me. Of course. Yeah. I had fun. Good. That's great, Mickey. Yeah. Okay, yeah, keep keep me posted. Bye. Hey, hey, Zoe. Hey. My knee is much better, by the way. Well, you owe me an ice pack, by the way. I'll add it to my shopping list. <laughs> okay. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Stop. Oh, come on. I need some good stuff for my next show. Wait a second, you do shows of your celebrity photos? No, I take pictures of regular people who inspire me. Okay, stop. Seriously, stop. Oh, that one's definitely going to my next show. Goodbye, Zoe. And action. Oh, I'm freezing. I'm gonna get you a parka for Christmas. You're gonna get me a present? Yeah, why not? Oh, we haven't seen each other since... Since we dated in high school. It's not my fault you went off to be a movie star after I broke up with you. You didn't break up with me. I broke up with you. That's not how I tell it. I think you're missing the... Cut. You're missing the point really? here. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, Can you give us one second, please? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Do you remember what I got you? On our last Christmas together? You remember? Earrings. Whoa. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. Antique earrings. The little sapphire insets on them. Your birthstone. They are lovely. Thank you. You're going to love what I got you this year. Oh. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. I know. I know I shouldn't have gotten you anything at all. Okay? But I saw this, and you said you wanted it once. And I, I had to get it. Wait a second. You... Remembered that I like something and then you got it for me? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Adorable. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You want to have dinner tonight? You and me. T tonight, I can't. Tonight, I'm I'm going on a sleigh ride with the Larsons. Going on a sleigh? The, the who? The people that own the lodge. You know, Sophie and Zoe. And, and Matt. Yes, Matt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. We'll do it another night. All right, are you good? Yeah. All right, we're going again? Right, yeah. <clears throat> we're great. Hey, Jessica. Do you know that Haley Shepard? This girl in my class. She has a horse. I did not know that. Not getting a horse? Well, of course not. That would just be copying. We need something special. Like a zebra. Ooh, a zebra. Zebra? Where would a we zebra put a zebra? Cool. Oh, here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> here we go. What's this? Hot chocolate. Thanks. You're welcome.
No marshmallows? Come on. What's Christmas like in Hollywood? Well, warmer than this. <laughs> oh, here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Do you spend it with movie stars? Christmas? Sometimes. Yeah. There's usually a party going on somewhere. Not this year? No. No, I could spend it with my family, but... I tend to mess up the holidays for them. And I feel like they should be able to enjoy them without the burden of paparazzi or fans. You can spend it with us. So... It's a lot of fun. We have the festival of lights on Christmas Eve. And then I go to bed early. So I can get up. And then we can open presents by the tree. Wow, that does sound like fun. Sophie, mm -hmm. I think Jessica has better things to do than spend her Christmas here in Homestead. What's better than Christmas in Homestead? Look at it. It's like perfect. Yes, it is. So, what was Christmas like when you were growing up here? Loud. It was loud. <laughs> no, there's always people everywhere. Uh, family, always singing and eating lots of food and opening presents. It was just, just always crazy. Yeah, that's the kind of Christmas I would like to have, for sure. So why don't you? <laughs> oh, here we go. Almost done. It's over already. Just about. Oh man. <laughs> Unless you want to, do you want to go around again? If you're not too cold. Let's go around again. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's do yeah. it. All right. Uh, hey guys. Vince. Hi. Room for one more? Hi Vince. Yeah. Cool. Stay here. I yes, will. Please. please. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey there. Hello. You're better than you think you are. <laughs> you're a good teacher. You got this. There you go. Hold on. Keep your hand there. It's okay. And cut. We're going to have to right. go again. Can we reset, please? Again? They've already got an hour past. Relax. Have a good time. Hey, guys. We're almost done here, and then everyone can join in. Oh, good. I'll tell them. Okay, great. Sorry we're running late. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. It looks like everyone's having fun anyway. <laughs> Are you going to skate? Who, me? No. Like, no. Come on. No, no, you no, have no, no. Know no. No, your limits. That's what I always say. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't heard me say that. I always say it. <laughs> uh, no, I asked Santa Claus for coordination we'll see he's very busy <laughs> what'd you ask santa for i don't know i haven't i rarely thought about it i'm i'm pretty lucky i have everything i need it's not about what you need it's about what you wish for it's about family yeah yeah family yeah. hey everyone Jessica, we're ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Don't fall. <laughs> so strong in that picture. You are strong. Well, I play a strong character. What's the difference? Well, a uh, strong character makes a movie great. Strong people make the world great. When I grow up, I want to be strong. And famous. Famous for what? Just for being me. Well, luckily, that's why they created the internet. Where are you going to spend Christmas this year? At home. In Los Angeles. Why? Because that's where I live. That's not what you said. What do you mean? In Astrolite, the dragon's lair, you said, home isn't where you live. It's where you love. It was my mom's favorite one, too. 
It was? Uh-huh. She went to heaven when I was little. So I don't really remember, but... And Zoe told me that she really liked your movies. And now I do, too. You know, just because somebody isn't around doesn't mean they aren't thinking about you. Really? Sure. Look at Santa Claus. He only comes around once a year. And the rest of the time, he's thinking about you and keeping track of whether you're naughty or nice. I'm nice. Of course you are. And he knows that, too. So when he comes for Christmas, he can bring you the perfect gift. Okay. That's cool. Do you know what you want for Christmas? I think so. What? I can't tell you. Christmas wishes are just between you and Santa. Got it. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, whatever it is, I'm sure you're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, what's going on in here? Jessica and I were just talking about Christmas. <laughs> Christmas? Okay! You all know the rules. It's just like dodgeball. Try to avoid getting hit. If you do, you're out. Last team standing wins. May the best team win in three, two, one. Trouble! Zoe, no, 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 this is a very expensive camera. You come to a snowball fight, you better expect to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> I keep falling into <laughs> snow. That's karma. That's why are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Do you hear that? <laughs> it's my phone. Where is it? <gasps> oh, wait, here. Oh no, it's wet. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> it was rude of me. I shouldn't have read that. They're willing to double their offer on the picture of Jessica? What picture? I haven't sold it yet. Okay, well, what does it have? What are they so willing to double their offer for? It's a picture of her kissing your brother. <laughs> kissing? No, wait, what are you talking about? He didn't kiss her. I've got the picture to prove it. Ian, you can't sell that. We're talking about a lot of money. And we're talking about my brother's life. He has a 10-year-old daughter. Do you know what stupid tabloids write about people like that? Hey, please tell me you're not going to sell that to them. Please. Okay. Just okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch your step. Thanks. No! No, you said oh go! God. I said no! I heard go! As loud and clearly as I could, I said no! And she took off, and I get... Guys, I took, give like, me a second. Give me a, take them to the car. I'll be right back, okay? I, I gotta grab th uh, Three or four at once, like, slow... No! Oh, oh, my oh, God. Oh, no, 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 I have her phone. She asked me to hold it for the snowball fight. I'll be right back. So, exactly how tall are you? Cool. Jess. Jessica. I'm not acting. You're, you, I'm sorry, you're not what? In our scenes. When my character says that he's stirring up all these old feelings and, and how much he, she means to him. And when he says, I love you, I'm not acting. 
Oh, Vince. Listen, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> I know that we said we'd keep things strictly professional on location, but no, just give me one more chance. I can't. Why not? What, because of Mayor Maddie? No. No, it has nothing to do with it. But you care for him. Right? I mean, it's pretty obvious. I don't... I gotta go. Uh... Can we talk tomorrow? I'm so sorry. Well, most big brothers are. What specifically are you being dumb about? Jessica. Jessica. You and Jessica? You surprised? Not as much as you might think. I just thought I felt something. It was the first time since Melanie died. And it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. Right? It's crazy. But Vince is here. And I can't compete with Vince. Just can't. But even if, even if Vince wasn't here, I don't know how she would ever... So what do I do? Be careful. What do you mean? People like her, they don't call them stars for nothing. They have a gravitational pull. It's easy to get caught up in that. But you, you have to deal with everything else in their orbit. It's kind of a weird metaphor. Excuse me, that was a great metaphor. Stars, movie stars, no, come on. I get it. I, I get it. Here, I need more pie. No, get your own. That's mine. That's my No, pie. not after that. No. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Sorry to interrupt. I just, um... No, it's good. It's fine. You have my phone. Oh, it's in my jacket. Um, It's in my place. You want to come with me? Sure. Okay, um... A cup of coffee or anything? That'd be great. All right. Thank you. Of course. <sighs> wow, it is so beautiful here. Mm. I could get used to this. Really? Sure. It's nice being out of the spotlight for a change. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have a movie crew, paparazzi, security guard following you around all day, every day. It's. It's the spotlight. Okay, all right, fair enough. But none of that's here now. What about Vince? What about him? He still loves you. Yeah, and I love him. But I'm not in love with him anymore. You sure? Because he's pretty stiff competition. I, I got nothing on that. No. It's not even close. Uh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't. Yeah, no. No, I understand. Look, you're leaving in a couple of days. You... Right. What if I don't? Don't what? Don't leave? Yeah, I mean, maybe I should 
take Sophie up on her offer and stay for Christmas. See that festival of lights you mentioned? Christmas ends. Even here in Homestead it does. So what then? Look, I know you don't think that the spotlight is here, but it is. It was meant for you. It just wasn't meant for me. Hello? Mickey, what's up? You... You did what? Mickey, no! I told you, do not sell the picture! It's already on the... No. Rosalie Evans. Hey, Barry, how are things at the Times? Coming on what? What picture? Sorry, I, I, sorry, I can't really hear you. I think that there's a bad connection. Uh, hey, uh, so the picture, what picture? Uh, hold on, just I'm going to step outside and get a better reception. Oh, no, 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 Matt! Wait, Matt. That any better? What's, what's going on? What you... No, 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 no. Are you falling for this guy? Doesn't matter if I am or not. He's not falling for me. How do you know that? I offered to stay. Stay? Here? Like, forever? No, like... not... I just... I thought for Christmas. I'm stupid. Look, Jess, you know, I get it. You're stressed about the movie and Vince, and suddenly you have this warm and fuzzy Christmas story come to life with the beautiful family and sleigh rides and... You're worried about my career. No, I'm worried about my friend. Give it all up and go live in a mountain and raise goats. I don't care, as long as you're happy. But the story about the famous actress finding true love at Christmas in a small town, that's the plot of the movie, not real life. So what am I supposed to do, go back to LA? Go back to Vince? No, oh, no. Because <laughs> if you do that, then I'll go give it up and raise goats. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I really do like him. What am I gonna do? What's the town gonna think? I mean, what are mom and dad gonna think? Of you kissing a movie star? <laughs> Gosh, they're probably already having it made into Christmas cards. Don't stop, stop. <laughs> this is what you warned me about, the star's gravitational pull. I thought you didn't like that metaphor. Oh, it's, it's really making sense now. You know what? Maybe this isn't as bad as we think it is. The phone has been ringing off the hook ever since this thing came out with people wanting to stay here. Maybe this is what launches the franchise. Would you please stop with the franchise, Zoe? That's never going to happen. Why not? We're a family-run lodge. That's what we are. That's what we've always been. It doesn't been. mean it has to be, be the same thing. I don't like change, remember? Matt, you know I always found the Christmas presents before you hid and wrapped them? What? No, you didn't. Really? Because that cute watch you got me under the tree over there begs to differ. Are you kidding me? The point is... What? You and I like to know what's coming next. I get it. But the difference is you always want it to be the same thing. Over and over. What if you had to open up the same Christmas present every year? <sighs> hey. Jessica, right? Yes. Hey, what's going on? She wanted me to check on you and your daughter. Sophie's fine. <laughs> Trust me, Sophie's fine. I'm the one that wants to crawl into the bed right now and hide. That's a valid reaction. But you sure she's okay? 
think so. You want to go check on her? Yeah. Sophie, I have a visitor. Hi, Gavin. Hi. Come on in. Have fun. Thank you. Have a seat. I've been looking, but they haven't posted any pictures of me yet. You want them to post pictures of you? Mm, doesn't everyone? No. Why not? Because some people like to keep their private lives private. I don't understand. Why do you think Jessica needs me? Why she needs a bodyguard? Because she's a movie star. No. Because she's a person. Just like you and me. And sometimes she wants to do regular person stuff. Like what? Like, go to the store to get Christmas presents, or... The Christmas parade? She was going to go with us tonight. I don't think she can do that now. That's not fair. No, it's not. You get a lot being famous, but you lose a lot, too. Bodyguards are with you always, and they watch out for you. So they're like your best friend, right? Right. Well, I know I was trying to get you to come be my bodyguard, but you should stay with Jessica. She needs you more than I do. Yeah. I think you might be right. But if you ever need help, you call me, okay? I'll give your Aunt Zoe my number. Okay. Tea? Sure. Remember, Pinky's out. Pinky's out. Mmm, it's good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Matt. I'm so sorry. No, this it's not your fault. A thousand photographers in your driveway. That is the definition of my fault. I guess the uh, spotlight finally found us. I'm, I'm going to fix this. I don't no. know how, but maybe some other celebrity will do something dumb to take the pressure off. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 we can, we can hope for that. And it's just for a few more days. And we'll be gone, and we can all get back to normal. Yeah, normal's good. Yeah. Normal's good. I'm better. <laughs> I gotta, gotta go to work. Oh yeah, no, me, yeah. me too. Yeah. So. You promised. I, I, I didn't do it. My agent, Mickey, did. I, I didn't tell him to release those photos. I swear. I don't believe you. Zoe, listen. Get off of our property, or this time I will call the sheriff. <sighs> All right, come on. Let's go through this again. It's Jessica. It's three in the morning. Okay, but we have to figure this out. No, I'm telling you, we are not going to get this done in one day. <sighs> so how much more time do we need? If we film until the sun comes up today... With one more night, we can maybe get it in. That one more night is Christmas Eve. We can't ask the crew to do that. We can't ask the town to give up their Christmas Eve so we can finish shooting our movie. I can take care of the crew. They're a great group of people. They will understand. The town won't. The mayor won't. So what do you want to do? <sighs> Honestly, go back in time and stop myself from saying I'd produce this movie. Jessica, look, I know it's been hard with everything that's going on. We all want that work-life balance. But sometimes something has to come first. And you, you just have to decide what that is, what it's going to be. I have an idea. 
Hi, Pete. Yes. Jessica McGillis. Order. Order. This is crazy. Now, you, you just can't let them film another night, especially if that night is Christmas Eve. Well, if you look at the town charter, Mr. Mayor. Pete, I swear, if you call me Mr. Mayor one more time, look, any other night, if it were any other night, this would be a whole different conversation. Order. Completely. Order. Someone take away his gavel, please. Everybody, please listen. I, I know this is inconvenient, but we'll do our best to not get in the way. But Christmas Eve is the Festival of Lights. I know, and we want to go ahead with it. In fact, we want to feature it in the movie. Featured how? Uh, Barbara, our director, will explain. Well, when the festival lights come on, we want to shoot our final scene between our movie star and our innkeeper. <laughs> I mean, the characters in our movie. And we think it's going to be very special, and your town is going to play a huge part in it. But it's not just the town. Guys? Welcome, Homestead. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. Um, I'm Vince. This is Jessica. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your support. It's been really overwhelming. Thank you. We couldn't have done it without you, but this final scene that we're shooting on Christmas Eve is going to be amazing. We just, we need your help with one thing. We need extras. <gasps> yeah? Who wants to be in a movie? <laughs> Who wants to be in a movie? Come on. All right, all right, I'll take all of you, all right. Well, thank you, uh, Vince, All right, well, thank you, Barbara, thank you, Vince, thank you, Jessica, thank you, lovely. Wow, wasn't that fun? Okay, next order of business. Matt, Matt, wait. So this is how you fix things? I'm sorry, we're trying. We're going to take care of everything. I'm going to pay for the entire festival so you can have the biggest one ever. The festival we have has been just fine. It's the one I grew up with. It's the one I take my daughter to. It's the one I took my wife to. Huh. Matt, I'll personally make sure that nothing goes wrong. Okay? Look. Christmas Eve, and then we're done. I'll be gone. That's what you wanted, right? Right there! Hey, smile for the camera! Yes, yes. None of this is how I wanted it to be. Guys, move! Hi, Mom! Merry Christmas! Of course, we made it. Can't spend Christmas in the <laughs> Hi guys, Merry Christmas! Hi, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Jessica. Give me a minute. I need to talk to you about one thing in the script, but I need to spend time with him first. Speaking of, I thought you said sometimes work has to come first. No. I said sometimes you have to decide what comes first. And I did. That's what I want. Then go get it. How? Oh, come on, Gavin. We both know how this movie ends. If you don't like it, change it. Improvise? Okay, all of those can go. Thank you. Hey, Zoe. Hey, what are you doing? What's, what's this? I'm bringing food to the movie crew. Sorry. Is that like giving aid and comfort to the enemy? Uh, it's fine. It's very kind of you. Well, that's what we do here in Homestead. We're kind. Besides, there are guests. Well, they're not all staying with us. Not at the lodge, but they're guests of the town. Makes them family. At least the paparazzi's gone for the day. Well, I'll be back tomorrow. And... Unless some other celebrity does something dumb. Wait, what did you say? It's just something Jessica said. They'll stay here until they find something juicier to go after. Right. Of course. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going to get something juicier. 
Wait, wait, right now? Wait, what about the, what about the food? Hey, Pauline Smith. Hey, hey, do you have any more pies left? Hey, do you feel badly? What? About what you did, do you feel bad? Yes, of course, I never meant Great, to... that means you want to help fix it, right? Sure, but how are we supposed to do that? It was your picture that started all this crazy stuff, wasn't it? Yes. But... So do it again. I, I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I do. Okay, folks, I know we're all tired, but we can do this. You're all doing a great job. Thank you, everyone. I don't know if we're gonna pull it off. Everyone is about ready to drop. What else can we do? Did you do all this? It's part of the job. But why? I mean, I sort of feel like we're ruining your Christmas. Hmm. Well, this is people. This is what Christmas is all about. Can I ask you something? Sure. If I wasn't me, I mean, if I wasn't Jessica McAllis, could it have been different? If you weren't Jessica McAllis, it wouldn't have been the same. Merry Christmas, Matt. Merry Christmas, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Do you want a Christmas cookie? Yes, I would. Thank you. Oh, Anna. Come here. I want to show you something. Well, this is good news, Mr. Mayor. Hmm. Looks like your little scandal may be forgotten now that Jessica McEllis is moving on. What are you talking about? This is certainly a relief, isn't it? <laughs> and action, guys. I love you. And I love you. But sometimes we have to let go of the things we love before the very act of loving them becomes too much to bear. Give me a kiss. Final lights come up. You exit. And good. Good? All right. We're going to wait till night. Okay, it's long lunch. Everybody Didn't realize how so much of a drag this ending is. Yeah, well, we're not making a romantic comedy where everyone lives happily ever after. Oh. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they do, though. Right? Maybe after the movie. Maybe they both realize how dumb they are. And they wind up together. How very sentimental of you. Yeah. Yeah. I guess even I have my moments, right? Yeah. Right? Speaking of, you haven't said a word about my Christmas present yet. What do you mean? You haven't seen it? What? You haven't seen it. No! You haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, boy. <gasps> what? Why did you do this? I had Ian Carter help me sell that photo of the tabloids along with the story that we're dating again. Why? Because everybody wants to know who J-Mac is dating. And now that bunch of photographers is following me around and not mad 
and we're headed back to L.A. in the morning. A huge part of me wishes that this could actually be true. But just because I don't make you happy doesn't mean I don't want you to be happy. Vince, I don't know what to say. Dinner? Hey, how about Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas, Vince. Merry Christmas, Jess. Hey. <laughs> Looks like it worked. Yep. We are paparazzi free. May I have a seat? Go for it. <laughs> what is that? It's a present <laughs> for you. <laughs> for me? Mm-hmm. Goodness. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> it is. There's something else in there. It's a photo <laughs> release. It says that you're okay with me displaying this in a gallery. There's one in Chicago that wants me to do a show. <laughs> well, I don't have a pen, so... There's one in the bag. Of course there is. You were, you were certain I was going to sign this, weren't you? Mostly hopeful. <laughs> you are something else. Thanks. <laughs> hey, come on. Gotta get going. We're gonna miss the festival. Hey, you can't be looking at this stuff. Why not? It's grown-up stuff. It's not like it's real. Jessica doesn't love Vince. And you know that how. Can you keep a secret? Of course I can. What's up? It's what I asked Santa for. For you to fall in love. With Jessica? No. Santa must have just figured that part out on his own. But you love her, right? It's not that simple. Shouldn't it be? Hey, wait up. Okay, here we go. Last scene, we ready? Pictures up. Here we go. Places. Right, settle everyone. Places. Here we go. Hey, Jessica. Jessica. Hey. Stay. What? Stay here for Christmas. Look, we've been making this much harder than it has to be. I've been making it much harder than it has to be. I was just so worried about keeping things the same, and I, I couldn't see that things could be much better if they changed. Jessica? Matt, I... Look, I... I know it's tricky with, with your career and with Vincent. I don't know how it's going to... We'll figure it out. I mean, we have to try. Jessica, I'm falling in love with you. I am. Choose me. Choose us. Stay. Jessica, we're rolling. Down speed. Okay, we're just about to call action on the scene. Everyone quiet, watching the scene. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? And action. You can stay here. You can stay with me. There's nothing here for me. I'm here. Isn't that enough? There's no such thing as a Christmas miracle. There is if we make them happen. I love you. And I love you. I do, but...
But maybe that is enough. Wow, I, for, I forgot what it was like to be loved. What it's like to feel like I was a part of something. Part of a community. Part of a family. I spent so much time keeping people out that I forgot what it was like to let people in. This is when we're supposed to be with the people we love. That's what Christmas is really about. Ask me again. Ask you, ask you what? There's only one thing I want for Christmas, and that's for you to ask me again. Don't plan, don't think, just act. Ask me to stay. I will ask you over and over and over again. Will you stay with me? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> And cut. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. That was incredible. She just improvised all that was incredible. Wow. Wow. Okay, but let's do it again, but this time this time I think you should kiss me. I think it should end with a kiss. I think it will. Again. Stay. just love this time of year getting into the spirit with romantic christmas movies like this one thank you for watching our five night thanksgiving movie event and you can check out a complete lineup of all our christmas movies on hallmarkchannel.com including the hallmark hall of fame presentation this saturday and my movie journey back to christmas this sunday join me tomorrow night at eight for alicia witt and the all new movie christmas list happy thanksgiving everybody see you tomorrow night on hallmark channel Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! I'm Candace Cameron Bure, host of Hallmark Channel's tradition, the five-night Thanksgiving movie event. Stay right where you are, because you are going to love tonight's new movie. Sparks fly when a popular movie star goes to shoot a movie in a quiet mountain town. But the town's handsome mayor is less than impressed. What's more important, Hollywood coming in here and taking over the whole town, or our traditions? Taylor Cole stars in Christmas in Homestead, and I'll be back a little later in the movie. And now, Hallmark Channel presents the original movie, Christmas in Homestead. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh or the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on bobtails ring Making spirits bright Hey guys!
Good to see you as always. Jessica, we just saw Vince Hawkins arrive. What's it like doing another film with your ex-boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend. Keyword ex. See you tomorrow night on Hallmark Channel.